Am I still audible and visible to you? Yeah, ma'am. You are audible and visible to me. Okay. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? I'm doing well. What about you? Yeah, I'm also doing well, ma'am. Great. And I, I have no words to express that. Um, you can say that I'm on over the moon to have a session with you. This is from long time I'm trying to you, ma'am. So yes. thanks for giving me an opportunity. So I remember, I remember you. You mailed me and you also comment on the videos usually, right? So finally yes. you messaged me on Skype and here we are. So yeah, because I, I think you're not very much used to mail, right? You don't check the replies usually. Yes, ma'am. I don't know how to mail because on it's a, it's a long time for me to uh, practice on this because I left the job. So okay. this is the new thing. Okay. Like okay. I know videos, ma'am. I usually watch your videos continuously, and mm -hmm. daily I will learn something or the other thing from that. Because you, I mean to say that you introduce different. You have a session with a different people, no, ma'am. So mm -hmm. we'll get a different uh, information from them. So this yes. is how I'm able to learn. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, please tell me a little more about you. Yeah, ma'am. My name is Sumalata and uh, I'm from South Telangana uh, okay. and I'm born and brought in Hyderabad only. I completed okay. my post graduation in the stream of MCOM. And uh, after that, uh, I worked in a BPO call center for five okay. years and then I got married and I mm -hmm. took a break of three or four years. And okay. again, I started working as a pre-primary teacher in a private school. I used mm -hmm. to teach as a, to the kindergarten school, kindergarten mm -hmm. students. After mm -hmm. that, uh, at the time of uh, COVID, I left my job. Presently, mm -hmm. I'm a housewife, full-time okay. housewife, you can say that. And mm -hmm. I have a daughter of 10 years old, and mm -hmm. she's a fifth standard mom. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. So currently, you're just, you're like looking after home, that's it. Do you want to work? Do you want to be a teacher again? Uh, in the future, ma'am. Mm. Because she's a very small, I have to take care of her. So <laughs> if I get any chance from work from her, definitely I'm going to do that. Mm. In the install stages, do you have any difficulty from your family side? No, you're doing this much. Like, the, did you face any type such kind of things? Honestly, no. I did not face any kind of issues because I always wanted to do something. And they and my husband is always supportive. He even says that you go and do a full time job, but then it is very difficult. I know it is easy to say, but uh, practically speaking, it is very difficult. I have two children, so uh, it is double trouble. So it it is difficult to manage everything. So if, when I'm doing this, I don't do it like full day. So some four hours a day, three four hours a day, I give for myself to work for myself. So that is how I'm able to manage. There is no opposition from the family because I'm taking care of family first. That comes as a priority. So after finishing that, I uh, work for myself. I work for YouTube, and the biggest advantage is I can work whenever little time I have. At least you know in the morning if I'm free, I have a session. Later I'll do my editing in the rest of the day and upload in the night. So that is how I'm able to manage in bits and pieces. Otherwise, full time, it, it is difficult. Okay. So do you have any regret that if I continue uh, like in, in Tokyo, I used to get in every month the income like that. So have you ever feel the regret about it to after starting this channel? In, but why? Because in the Insta stage, our channel will not boom like that. Now we'll have a less subscribers that, oh, what the decision I have to get is wrong. I should continue with that only. How do you ever feel about that? When I started my channel, unless your channel gets monetized, you earn nothing from it. You don't get anything from YouTube. So it will take three or four months for you to start working. I mean, start earning that provided you have the minimum thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours watch time. When you complete that, that is the time you will start earning. Until then, you are just working free of cost. But on yes. Inktoki, honestly speaking, I would not earn that very much. That is why I thought that it was not a right option for me. Because, see, the, I have my own uh, limitation that I can work only during the day. But, you know, learners are free during the evening. M most of the working professionals, students, so they prefer joining in the evening. And that time I was not able to give for the platform. Only during the day we do not have much learners. 
just housewives or maybe one and um, weekly I would have three, four sessions. That was not much. So it was, I was earning, but not that much. So once I started making money from YouTube, I no longer regret. And I, even after starting YouTube also, I was still working with Inktalki. So only when my payments started, when my channel got monetized, then I stopped working there because from YouTube also, I was getting learners. So that is when I left. So no regrets. I'm happy. So like, uh, I think it is your daughter is 10 years old. So it is quite OK for you to start looking for work. Um, I have some health issues, ma'am, from Corona onwards. So I have some health issues so that I can't go outside and work. Uh, for that mm -hmm. purpose, only, I want to do from work from home. I'm searching yes, yeah. the, the type of jobs. Mm -hmm. Mm. Even I searched a lot for work from home jobs. When my son started going to school, I had two hours in the day. So I was like, I want to utilize these two hours for working. And he, since he went to play school, so he would be away only from in the morning, three hours, three to four hours. So even that, that time I was struggling, I was looking for work from home jobs. I need to do something. So then I applied for so many freelance positions. People who advertise, right, this is work from home and you can do so. I don't know, somehow it doesn't work out. Wherever you apply, it is either a um, scam or they're asking you to pay something. It is so difficult to judge what is genuine and what is not. Because there are so many ads these days who promise to work from home job, work at your free time. But it is not like that. You are even scared to click on the link and investigate. Yes, Hmm. So that even I tried, I tried telecalling, then I tried different teaching platforms. So finally, platforms like Inktalki, Clapping Go, these platforms are so good, especially for homemakers, where you can work during your own free time. And even during the day, you can work. So yeah, even I went through that phase. It is difficult in India, especially work from home. That too, this culture has started only in COVID, That's work true. from home. Yeah. Earlier, we never knew what was work from home. Yes, yes. And I think you can join these platforms, right? Like Baijus and uh, Vedantu, because you are a teacher. So you 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 have some experience in handling children. But I think uh, my English is not good. Uh, I need to improve more. So once I get command on that, I'll definitely I'm going to try. Why? Because when I start speak to someone who face to face like that, I started mm -hmm. from even though mm -hmm. I'm from English medium, uh, from KG to PG, but I don't have such a surroundings. Most of my friends are Hindi, Telugu, Marathi, like mm -hmm. that. They speak in their native languages. So this mm -hmm. this is the problem I faced. Uh, I don't. After one two lines, I started you no know, way to again. Uh, what comes next? I don't know how to form a uh, to go the conversation long. So mm -hmm. this is ha happened to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes I feel like how to question WH words questions will be there, you know, uh, which mm -hmm. question I which, which question I should ask like that. And uh, uh, usually when I get a free time, you know, most of the time I I work on this YouTube channel. I, I used to watch videos on English only. So mm -hmm. you know, in the grammar or part like that only. So I have a question that whether a uh, helping word should always come in before verb or you can uh, add in before that uh, pronoun. For example, uh, when you are coming to home, when mm. when you are coming to home or when are you coming to home? In these two lines, I, I'll get a little bit confused that which one is correct. So yeah. I'm not any person who, who can, uh, I have so many doubts, but I'll not have a person who can correct me. My husband always used to uh, why you work like a child, uh, always you keep some books and start watching videos. <laughs> so I feel that I'm happy with this. I'll do myself. I'll do it for mm -hmm. myself. Okay. You can say that I'm an uh, Anglophile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, your only issue is that you're fumbling while having conversations, right? So what are you doing in order to overcome this? Are you talking to people? Yeah, ma'am. Um, I, these days I'm working uh, on uh, having conversation with uh, some YouTubers, but I didn't upload even a single video. And uh, mm -hmm. daily I'll read, uh, listen to some postcard, podcast and uh, uh, speak to myself and the mirror talking mm -hmm. and uh, speaking. Uh, I have I downloaded one app, uh, Ace Fluency. On mm -hmm. that, 
I talk to some people. So this hmm. is how I'm working. So are you finding changes now? Yes, yeah, ma'am. Uh, this much confidence also not there. So I started my journey on February, uh, in the month of February. So hmm. uh, till now I improved a lot. So I, mm -hmm. I got a little bit confidence, confidence on me that so I'm mm -hmm. I am able to talk with some persons, and mm -hmm. in, at home also I'm trying to speak with my child and uh, her friends, so they'll not judge me, you know. Correct. Like that. And she'll also speak to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it is different when you talk at home because you have very limited vocabulary, very limited sentences that you talk at home with our children or husband. So we there are specific things that we talk with them. We can't we can't talk anything, everything. So when you talk to a stranger or when you have a conversation with somebody, that is different. For a speaking practice, talking at home is okay, but it is important for you to talk to strangers, talk on different topics. That will improve you in a different way. See, now you have practiced on ace fluency for just one or two months. February is like last month. So, yeah, you already, you are confident, you are able to speak well, right? And I wouldn't say you are a beginner also. You have like almost 15 minutes, you are, you are talking to me. You are not fumbling. You know what to speak, right? Sometimes we under, underestimate ourselves. We are not good enough. That is what we say ourselves. But I would say you, even you are recording yourself. The, when you see your own recording, you will know how good or bad you are. Right. So you are already doing good. You keep practicing this way and that fumbling thing will not be there. So once you get that confidence, very soon you will be able to do something for yourself, like uh, join some platform, teach, because I think it is important for all of us to do something. I know it is not easy being a homemaker and uh, looking after children and working. But since you are equally interested in doing it, that is why I'm saying. And uh, while teaching children, it is not very important that you have to be perfect in English. Unless you are teaching spoken English. But if you're teaching subjects, you have enough English for that. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, okay, then what do you do during your free time? Do you have any hobbies? Yeah, um, I do some pencil sketches, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of the time I'll spend like that and reading books. And mm. uh, this is English only my passion. And mm -hmm. I um, I'll get down any different word and I'll frame self some sentence on it. Sometimes okay. I used to send to you also to yes. check the yes. I remember in the comment section. You are the only person who does that actually. Because there are so many learners who say we are not learning, we are not improving. But it is an you need to look for opportunities where you can learn. So, like you look like you watch the entire conversation you look if you can find some new word then you pick that word and you put it in the comment you frame your sentences and tell it in the comment so learning opportunities everywhere unless you are motivated enough to learn yes, mm. but, uh, people will also know that uh, so this is they'll also learn if i comment like that no more yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And what about your daughter? What is she interested in other than studies? Because she is uh, the same age as my daughter. Yeah. Most of the time she loves to play. Uh, mm -hmm. She likes to dance very much. And mm -hmm. from 15 onwards, she is having the, her final exams. So she, she is yes. from C board. Mm -hmm. So she is having the exams. Hmm. Do you think sometimes that being a child is better than being an adult? I didn't get you, ma I didn't understand. Yeah, do you sometimes feel that being a child is better than being a grown-up? Hmm. Is it better to be a child or is it better to be a grown-up? No, no, <laughs> child is very better. We can buy it because... We can do anything. They, no one is there to comment on it. They'll take it like, okay, she's a child. Let her make some mistakes. Mm -hmm. they'll, uh, miss, they'll not uh, to catch her, our mistakes and like that. Mm -hmm. so we'll get more opportunities for learning. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, uh, and not only in learning, in general. In general, mm -hmm. is it a nice feeling to be a child? Like do you, when you think about your childhood, do you feel that I wish I was a child again? It is so difficult being a grown up. Why? Because uh, when I when when I was a kid, I don't have this much opportunities uh, for playing uh, 
I don't have that much friends for you. Uh, we used to have a joint family. So my family members will not allow me to go outside with play, uh, surrounding people like that. So, oh. yeah, so this is the share of whatever I face. You no, know, mom, uh, I'm leaving my child freely. So I know mm. I monitor her and monitor what she's doing, where she's going like that. And I'll, mm. so whatever I missed, I make her, my child to learn. Okay, no problem. You can go on. Okay. Like, Yes, so, but now you prefer that you are a grown up, so it is better. You didn't enjoy your childhood much. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. But there are some tensions that you do not have as a child, right? Some financial tensions or uh, the biggest tension what to cook today, <laughs> these kind of small things. So, we didn't have it as a child. Yes. Some advantages are there. Yes. So, our only tension was we need to do homework, our uh, madam is going to scold us. Or we have our exams. These kind of tensions. These were like so big for us. And our, mm. our world was revolving around these things only. So there is some science exam. Or we have some test at our class. Or madam scolded me. We used to think this is our world. But as grown-ups it is different. Sometimes I feel we were so stupid when we were children. We used to worry for such small things. Or maybe the societal and parental pressure was so much that we kept thinking that uh, they are going to scold us if we don't get good marks. Sometimes I feel we were innocent and stupid. Now, if you think in that angle, I feel it is so nice that we are grown-ups now. We know we are able to differentiate what is important in your life and what is not. And somebody is not constantly telling you, uh, do this, do that. You are big enough to take decisions for yourself. But for a child, we are usually dominating our own children, if you want, go get this for me, do this, or something like that. When we uh, talk to a child, someone has an authority over you. But when you grow up, you have authority over somebody else. And you don't have anybody telling you, dictating you to do this or that. So that is an advantage of being an adult. Yes, yes. Most of my, um, my daughter, what she is, every day she, when she come back from school, she'll drop her bag and she'll take my mobile and watching. She'll play with some games on that. I said, no, no, you should not do like that first. You get pressure yeah. and you can, no, no, since from morning, I have learned so many things. I want to take a break. Daily yeah. she'll do like that. Really. But um, uh, when the exams will be there, no, that time she'll very much concentrated on studies. The remaining mm -hmm. time she'll, Okay, she'll enjoy, but she'll mm -hmm. get the good. I said that okay, mm -hmm. unnecessarily. Why should I give pressure her to do daily mm -hmm. uh, read, read? Why should I dictate her like that? Mm -hmm. It's okay. She's mm -hmm. getting a good one. So, you know, some mm -hmm. children have a capability. They'll not st study for a long time, but right. uh, one hour or two hours is enough for you. Daily, she will study for one hour only, ma'am. She'll not um, give that much time like that. Uh, and, and she'll complete her homework in one hour. So, mm -hmm. I. Uh, and I used to watch some parenting videos also. So mm -hmm. how should we should be with our child? When I started dictating her, and she'll what do you say that she'll rebel me, and I tell, mm -hmm. I tell them I said no 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 I should not do like that. I should be mm -hmm. uh, she is a girl no more. so I should mm -hmm. be very to her and she's growing she's growing now now. So I should be very friendly with her so that she can share everything to me and instead mm -hmm. of. She should come first to me instead of going to someone. So I want to create she that come first to you. atmosphere mm. to her. Mm. And she everything to me. If you let I am share everything with me, you can say not to me, with me. Okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yes, go ahead. Yeah. We should give that uh, uh, space for them. So that they are comfortable enough. If something wrong goes with them, still they should be able to come and share it with us. They should not be scared. That level of scared, like what we used to be when we were children, we used to be very scared if we have done some mistake. We would not go and tell our parents about it because they were very strict. That, that generation was very strict. Now we are learning. We are learning from what we experienced in our childhood what we should be and should not be with children. But again, there is some age, right? When they are very small, you can be very friendly with them. But when they are approaching teenage or through, through their teenage years, I think we need to be more strict with them. 
you have a good surrounding ma'am why because your father supported you a lot uh, he uh -huh. he prepared a atmosphere to have he meant to say uh, to speak in english like that so, uh, what i can say what i want to say that he is having a very far uh, vision uh, vision like that uh, my mother thing is telugu yeah yeah they uh, are from telangana so yeah so the uh, at that time our parents no not like that uh, even they didn't uh, they didn't imagine that future will be like this where our mm -hmm. technology will develop in so far so fast so yes. uh, they, maybe at the thought like that like this only will go mm. like in this yeah so yeah yes we never expect what will happen next with our children right we don't know what will happen sometimes we feel scared thinking about it what should we prepare them for for the future mm. but language is one thing not only with english right if you need to know more language languages it will improve your personality in a way it will expose you and it will make you learn things right so your creative angle also is growing in that way so it is important not only english she made us learn hindi as well talk in hindi as well so it is never a waste when you know languages now i have an added advantage when i uh, teach people also they prefer that i know hindi so if they have any doubts they'll ask me in hindi so i also know south indian languages if people like i have a telugu learner i used to have a telugu learner so if she has any doubt she will ask me in telugu and i'll translate it for her so we never know what advantage it is going to have for our future so it is always nice to learn things you need to learn everything and forget because once you learn you will know it like for example you will learn swimming you won't forget it if you are by mistake if you have fallen in the water you will know to swim at that moment so nothing no talent or no skill is a waste you need to learn everything if you are interested for me i was pressurized to learn you have to learn 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 so when we are children we don't realize how what is the advantage and what will i um get benefit from it when i grow up or whenever i need that but uh, now i realize it is important whatever skill it is don't worry we have to teach them singing dancing nothing is waste how mm -hmm. many languages do you know ma'am i know five languages yeah uh, kannada telugu uh, hindi english and tamil i understand completely but i can't speak much if i am left in that area where you have to speak tamil and manish then i'll be able to manage but i can't speak it fluently okay. mm. and i know hindi telugu english okay marathi mm. i can understand kannada but i am not able to speak that if few words i know chennagidre mm. mm. <laughs> and is manageable can manageable languages at least uh, at least being able to understand completely what they are saying because india is such a country there are so many languages we have so many opportunity to learn by with our neighbors learn about their uh, language culture so we have a lot of opportunity compared to uh, people of some other country in the world yeah correct so uh, any skill will be useful in our future like that we have to write see ma'am our education system i feel like the, the, there should be some skill right Even now uh, only studying one subject is not enough uh, they mm -hmm. should be any craft like that in future also mm -hmm. they are not able to continue their studies no they can uh, they can manage themselves they can earn. the they should be teach in the at the school i feel like that yes yes they should be taught in the schools even in when we were children people were trying to teach us but we had a idea that it is a waste of time we are not going to make any money so if you are uh, taking part in theater or dance competitions they would say why, why do you want to learn it if you after you grow up your education will be useful to you in getting a job so this is a waste of time why do you want to invest your time in this but see now even dancers painters photographers everybody is making so much money irrespective of their whether they are highly educated or no so the it shows skill is important and we were not aware of it back then but now so many new skills are coming up everything is in demand everybody is busy yes. uh when my childhood my mother did 
whenever i said that in after completion of 10th exams uh, i said my i asked my mother to uh, that i want to go for typing uh, typing so i want to learn mm -hmm. typing students are doing mm -hmm. that so i want to do my mother said no 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 first you complete your exams first you pass then only that time it is a big thing for getting uh, uh, passed in 10th exam why because mm -hmm. if you uh, get failed in one subject also no? we used to write uh, we used to uh, sit at home for one year like that <laughs> Yes. Uh, like, yes. Only we have a second chance in the su supplementary like that. Mm -hmm. So, concentrate more. Why? Because I, I what now I feel that they have do they they don't have this idea that in future like uh, this generation will change mm -hmm. like this. So okay. it happened. Okay, we should not blame anyone. Now mm -hmm. we are having chance. Yeah, and yeah. now having the time. Now we now I can work on the what is my passion. So even for MCOM also, this is not my interested subject. I'm very passionate in doing MA or MA literature like that. So uh -huh. my parents will uh, told me that no, no, if you completed your BCOM and MCOM, you will definitely get uh, some job. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, yes. Like that. Mm -hmm. Somehow I completed, but mm -hmm. uh, this is my passion. Correct. Um, yeah. Uh, what now? I what the in which subject uh, our child will have interest of our person, we should uh, mm -hmm. send them on that line only. Yes, yes. We, otherwise, they will also have repentance like us, that I wanted to do that, that was my passion, and they will not be happy if they have that thing in their mind. It is important that you do what you like. Then it doesn't feel like work to you. Now I'm doing YouTube, it is not like work for me. It is, It is my me time. I like spending my time like this. So I don't feel it is work. So I think everybody should feel that. If they uh, do what they enjoy doing, they will not feel pressurized or stressed. But we can't blame our parents also. They have done so much for us. And uh, making us educated itself was a very big thing back then. So they did a very good job. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel that I miss some opportunities. Uh, some of my friends are very good at English. So uh, mm -hmm. I should uh, talk to them why I get a uh, step back uh, when my friends are there to communicate. So I feel I missed this opportunities like this. I used to feel, um, mm -hmm. but it's okay that we are having a good platform. So uh, I feel very comfortable in of on in uh, talking to on apps to have a conversation live no ma'am. So um, automatically the fear will go out. Why? Because we, we are facing a camera no ma'am. So. Mm -hmm. This is okay for me. I can okay. communicate. So if I go to any interview, you know, I'm able to talk to them. Thank you. Thank you yeah. very much for giving me an opportunity. It was wonderful. Thank you. Yes, yes. Yeah, same here. I love talking to you. It is just that it is never too late. Anytime you can start working, anytime you can do things for ourselves rather than just sitting and thinking. So it, it is never too late. We can start whenever we want to. So good luck with whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. Bye-bye.